to me, it's been fraud for all these years. Why is it we have this enormously powerful feminist movement and virtually nothing for men? Originally, it was capitalism was the big enemy in the 60s and 70s. And it was the radical feminists in America. They moved the goalposts. They said, no, it's no longer capitalism is the enemy. The enemy is patriarchy or men. And that's how the women's movement began. And it was enormously successful. The new mood in, in the refuges were, was going to be that no men could work in refuges and can't today. They can't sit on the boards. And boys over nine or possibly 12 can't go into refuges, or you call them shelters. Their mothers have to make other arrangements for them, which I find shocking. Mm. And it ring-fenced money. I think that that particular time when the feminist movement were desperate for funding because they'd run out of, of publicity and they were desperate for funding and they needed a just cause. And it, unfortunately, it fell into their laps. It's an enormous industry. I mean, violence against women, they get something like was a billion and over a year. Mm. And an awful lot of that goes on really supposedly rehabilitating men, but essentially punishing them with something that's called the Duluth model. Duluth Power and Control Wheel, you guys know about that? No. I'll give you a copy. In 1977, I think, a bunch of crazy women up in Duluth, Minnesota figured out they had the solution to domestic violence, and it was all about patriarchy and all about men. And it's the Duluth Power and Control Wheel, because men are all about power and control. Of course, not you ladies. You guys, you don't control anything. You have no power. You're just sweet and innocent little things. Okay. So when this power control wheel is divided up in all these things, you know, about who does this and who does that and blah, blah, blah. Of course, it's all men. entire domestic violence industry was founded on, on that. I think it's still 37 or 32 states in the United States that by law they have to use the Duluth model for better intervention programs and it's all shame, blame, and guilt driven. If you're a man and you walk in, you must admit you did it up front or you're in denial. There's no debate, there's no discussion, there's no possibility that you could be falsely accused the criminal justice system could have made a mistake. None whatsoever, you are in a state of denial and you will complete that course or you're gonna to go to jail you will be re-engineered. That's frightening. <laughs> frightening? Yes, that's frightening. I think it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. All I had to do, I had a simple choice. I could just say, yes, you're right. Men are the enemy. No problem. But I couldn't, I absolutely couldn't. 